another brilliant way to save money on HMO are light sensors. Currently right here in the hallway of the, this six bedroom HMO, obviously the sensors have picked me up. Uh, it's actually right above me. I don't know if you can guys see it. There we go, just barely there. Uh, and uh, there's a timer, of, as, as you know, with, uh, with the uh, sensors. You can leave it uh, on uh, for whatever time you decide uh, to suit sort of the, the, the flow and, and the size of the house. Uh, when nobody's around, obviously the lights will come off. I'm gonna show you in a moment. Uh, I'm gonna walk into the actual kitchen of this uh, HMO, the six bedroom HMO in Derby. I'm gonna try to open the door slowly so we can see the process of the actual sensors picking a, a sensing a human, a large body, a large mass, in this case myself. Uh, and then we'll uh, see how well it works and uh, how it's actually saving you money but not letting the, the power be used when nobody's using it, nobody's actually in the room. So uh, I'll uh, see you in a second. Okay, so we are just about to walk into the kitchen, um, as you can see right there. The, the lights that you can see on, it's actually coming from the, uh, the actual uh, canopy. So I'm just gonna walk in, uh, see if I can show you the, the sensor where it's located. Let me just tilt this a little bit. There you are. The sensor's right there, right next to the smoke detector. So if I walk in, boom, lights. So you can see immediately the, uh, the lights uh, are working and nobody is wasting any, any, any power, any electricity. Everything's looking nice and, nice and ready for new tenants to move in. So yeah, sensors, just like that one, that's the one. Um, I will recommend it highly to save you energy and it just uh, removes the, the actual um, wastage of power which of course can, can be converted in high bills.